Hello, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Monday. June 13th. Quite a special day, loves. The day before full moon in Sagittarius. Start your manifestations. Put your wishes over there. But as every wish we have, make it like you are already experience that you have it already in your hands because you know when we do manifest we need to be as we got whatever we put out into the universe and i will use today the monology deck and of course the the one of the oldest decks I ever had. Emotions are running high and I feel here it's feeling for one part a very happy energy, for other part feels very strange. So let's see loves. You know I am a Sagittarius as well but I have other placements in my chart as everyone does. And I was thinking for quite a long, quite a lot here. Should we do a life or not? If you want to see a life tomorrow or even today, by the end of the day, let me know down below in the comments. Nothing is set in stone as the energies are very strong, but yes there is a possibility let's let's where we go and how we moving towards this energies your confidence speaks very highly for yourself as well whatever you do for some of you there is a, also a situation out there who needs more communication yes we are in gemini season Speaking of, Gemini speaks very, very strongly of communication. Mercury is direct going. We don't have that energy that, hey, stop a little bit, think of. But also, Jupiter energy comes in strong, as is the planet for Sagittarius. And brings a lot of movement. And not only movement. There is, let's say, a lot of things might go over the border. Be very much who you communicate. Don't make it too much. Or sometimes we are communicating just to not get bored or anything like that. All right. Let's see. How is your Monday looking like? world underneath and world it's all about completion endings new beginnings letting go certain things getting ready for others and yes the full moons are great to purge certain things which don't serve us anymore ten of wands absolutely justice and four of pentacles it's kind of an energy here which sticks around you probably for over four years for some of you you've been working on something for a very long time and now either you let it go either mix i even take libra energy strong energy of the fixed science cardinal as libra is world energy it's a fixed energy and you know the fixed signs are taurus aquarians leos scorpios all right seven of wands right here seven of cups and the empress emperor Look at this. King of Pentacles. The Devil. 
goodness. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. So we have two Knights, one King. I might speak here with someone who put everything above or everything beside what they really need to. Whatsoever the universe offered them more than they think. As you see here, three of wands, seven of wands, ten of wands that we have here. So indeed here someone feels like this is done and over. But emotionally they may not feel. Yes, there is still ego. But also the empress and the devil, there's something here too much. way too much and yes when we have the emperor and the empress could be a wife and a husband in the mix justice speaks about separation and sometimes letting go certain things that are very heavy on the shoulders but other thing here Someone here might have been dealing with the narcissist person or someone who put their needs or others' needs and not where they need really to put it. Let's see here the Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands and the eight, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands. Yeah. Another card, let's clarify really quick the Empress, Sun, and the Emperor, King of Swords. Goodness. Somebody here has heavy Leo in the chart. And somebody could have air or earth, the devil energy, will of fortune, yeah. Money, money, money. Addictions. There's something here like I do non-stop. Feels like someone here tried. To work through certain things but they can't king of pentacles page of wands knight of cups judgment and knight of pentacles king of cups three kings King of Pentacles, King of Swords, and King of Cups. Whoever I'm speaking is someone who, or someone who deals with the other that never it's enough. Always I want more. Very little communication. And also, I might speak here with someone who their partner or the person who they do love might gamble. You know, sometimes people spend way too much for certain things that they don't need to. The Three of Wands was the hope was, I can make this work. And somebody here was like, as much as I will offer and give in, it is not enough. The Ten of Wands, 
death, yes. There's something here ends. Clearly. So whoever I'm speaking, there is movement forward. But goodness, the ego and my way or no way, it's quite strong. So who I'm reading, if you are dealing or you've been dealing with someone who put their ego or their needs or it's kind of be like way above everything else. It's kind of done. And it's kind of sooner or later that was over. Well, was meant to be over. The Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands, Chariot, always thought like, well, we work on this, I will go through and move. And then somebody here realized that is not quite that. There also here might have been a trial or someone here tried to compromise and fall through. So yeah, whoever I'm speaking here, if the situation to be improved, someone needed to, to honor their compromising or somebody here needs to honor whatever they they promised. It's more likely a promise. It's broken. For others of you, if you try to to work independently or to, to build your own brand or your own craft, you name it, or your own business. I feel here there is a beginning point of that. Whatsoever, there are certain things will change dramatically. So get ready, loves, because I feel here there is something here, it's about to boom. I don't see yet the, the tower moment, but the tower very much speaks about sudden changes. Ace of Pentacles. There's something here stable on the way as we speak. Hermit. But whatever here it's offered by the universe, someone will question. Do I really need this or not? It's like they, they are not into this kind of but taking it time will understand that that was the way to go. So two of pentacles very much speaks like, I'm not sure I'm going in the right direction. Is this what I want? It's kind of someone here might leave it, but for some of you it's kind of like, well, do I have another chance? For sure, you are moving towards a peaceful energy. It's kind of something here you put into your manifestations. And they come. 
and they come quite strongly. Mother Oracle speaks to you. You are very close to achieving your goal right here. Underneath, take time to breathe out the next one we have be bold and first the first move and a new romantic cycle begins for some of you there is a new part partner but for others of you there is a whole new beginning and the north node step out of your comfort zone and the comfort zone very much is should I, should I not? Do you take your time? There's no need to rush. But always you know, your hard work is paying off. Go ahead, loves. So yeah, that being said, loves, I feel here there is something you clearly see that it's on the way as we have the judgment, past life energy. And let's say really quick to look at where is the King of Wands, the King with Mist in here. All right, so King of Wands is in a beautiful position, actually. Ahead, we have the Ten of Cups, and behind, we have Four of Swords. Give yourself time to reflect on what you've been, what you've had, because I feel here, giving time, you will see a lot of things you probably didn't have the chance to and yes whatever it's new whatever you take a leap of faith in looks awesome don't hold back just do not hold back for those of you who do separate from a specific person that could be a very strong karmic energy but you are actually moving towards your person the one so go ahead loves step out of your comfort zone slow and steady wins the race absolutely and of course i will see you tomorrow namaste